and welcome to Boot Camp 101, brought to you by the National Propaganda Department of the Pacific Defense Initiative. This video series will inform you of all the basics you as a PDI soldier need to know before going into battle, including communication protocol, weapon deviation, movement and spacing, and basic medical training. In this episode, we will go over communications. It's important that your squad leader knows about all possible threats and important information, but he also has to relay information to other officers during the battle, so you need to know how to quickly and clearly tell him what you see and where. Contact Reports A contact report to your squad leader should contain three pieces of information in as few words as possible. Angle, distance, and type of contact. For example, if I'm walking with my squad and I see an enemy rifleman off to my east a few blocks away, I will stop and say clearly on squad chat, enemy infantry east 75 meters. Now everyone in your squad knows what you've seen and where, and can act on it properly, all with three simple pieces of information. Next thing to mention is comms discipline. You should be communicating with your squad and relaying important information, but too many comms can cause the squad to become disorganized and less combat effective. For example, say you and a squad mate breached a building and got taken down. You are both revivable and want to get a medic quick because looking at a wounded screen is boring. So you both start calling for medic and local so they know where to find you. Great. Then you keep calling a local or get bored and start talking to your down buddy. Not great. While you and Private Chattermouth were talking about how much you hate iPhones, your medic got snuck up on and killed because he couldn't hear the footsteps over your voices. So the safest thing to do when wounded in CQB situations is to call for a medic once, let your squad secure the area, then call out as the medic instructs you. Hold comms. There is an order your squad leader will call out from time to time called hold comms, or calm silence. This means that your squad leader is talking to other squad leaders or commander, but cannot hear over his own squad chat. It is very important that you do your best to stay off of comms when this order is called, as every time a squad leader needs something repeated, he is taking a valuable time in preventing new information from being passed to the proper officers. Text chat. On top of having squad and local voice chat at your disposal, tournament rules still allow you to talk in team chat. Sometimes the command channels are full of comms and important information, and if you as a regular grunt see something that the whole team should know about, typing in team chat can save a lot of time and even tickets. For example, your squad leader is just called to hold comms, and as your squad is moving you spot an AA emplacement being built far away. The best course of action is to approximate the location, type in team chat what you see and where, with grid reference, and once the squad leader is done with his comms, make sure it's the first thing he knows about. This is better than just assuming people know about it, and keeps the flow of voice communication smooth and uninterrupted. Building Names Another important factor to good communications is knowing the names of some of the common buildings in Project Reality. Copy the link in this bubble to be brought to a page with a bunch of pictures to common buildings and their associated names. It is also helpful to be able to know what certain vehicles sound like. Both are more advanced tactics and can only come with experience. Hopefully this instructional video has given you enough information to be a strong and effective fighting force for your squad and your team. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to ask any of the fearless PDI officers. They are here to help you. This instructional video has been paid for by the PDI Coalition Government. All footage is property of the Pacific Defense Initiative Propaganda Department. Any attempts to redistribute outside of the team will be met with court martial and serious ass whooping.